Hello, Leo. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your general reading for the month of April of 2022. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. Please keep in mind, Leo, that this is a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And also just because this is dated for the month of April of 2022, it doesn't mean that these energies have to only resonate for you for this month. <clears throat> okay, this could resonate for you at any moment whenever this happens for you. Yes, this is just what the messages Spirit have. Well, sorry, this is just what Spirit wants to bring forward for you, what messages Spirit has for you at this time in this monthly interval. Yes? All right, Leo, let's get into this. I'm going to start with the Animal Spirit Guides. We will see what is going on for you, and then we'll get into your Tarot spread using the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot. All righty, Leo, let's get into this. Starting with the Animal Spirit deck here, I'm going to give this five shuffles for you. For my Leos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node, this is one. Two. All right, so Leo, for, uh, before I even started recording, this is three, um, I was hearing that your energy is bright, powerful, fierce, strong, active, responsive, um, driven, is that three? Ugh, that's three. Um, I'm seeing yellow for you, Leo. This is four. And maybe this is five. It doesn't matter. We're going to give this one more shuffle for you, for my Leos here. What's going on for Leo? Uh, you just feel very, very driven, okay? Very action oriented at this time. Whatever it is you're doing, whatever it is you're working on, you're, you're working on accomplishing here. Um, you're taking good strides. You're moving forward in confidence, uh, you're determined. You're not really trying to let anything hold you back. What's going on for Leo? Wow. Okay, we have Snake. We have Panther. There's that driven energy. And then we also have Hawk for you here. Okay, excellent. Um, so, oh, and then at the bottom of the deck here, I'm not going to take this one. I'm going to leave it there, but I just want to show you, you have horse. There is another element of you being very, very driven. I'm also taking into account the crescent moon that's right here on the horse's third eye. I feel like, uh, you're very much aware. You're very in tune with your emotions. Um, if you don't consider yourself psychic or intuitive, I just, I feel like you're seeing very clearly any of the obstacles in front of you, I'm getting very, very much laser pointed focus, okay? Nothing is really getting past you right now or anymore, um, especially with this hawk energy that's with you uh, overall here. I do feel like the hawk energy is kind of symbolizing you. To be honest with you, Leo, all of this what I'm feeling or seeing for you here, this is really, this is really just you, okay? Snake is representing the healing energy that you have gone through. I feel like you have come full circle in your life in some way, or you're about to come full circle in your life. Big change in your direction, uh, a lot of clearing, healing energy, a lot of clearing of the past. And that's left you super empowered and super driven with this panther energy. Like, God forbid anybody gets in your way, Leo, because it, it, not like you're really looking to hurt anybody, but it does, it does kind of feel like you're going to mow them down. Like, you have no time for excuses. You have no time for bullshit. You have no time for anyone or anything that's trying to get into your in your way. Again, I don't feel like you're trying to harm anyone, but you are so laser focused. You are so driven. You are so connected. I'm hearing for some of you to the truth of who you are, what it is you really want to want to be doing here that you're, you're a force to be reckoned with at this time. I also feel like some of the intensity that's coming through for you right now, Leo, is the fact that you've gone through a, a, a really long term healing process. And for some of you, or maybe all of you, maybe this is the energy that I'm picking up generally here, take it as it resonates, but um, you may have been looking for a new direction in life or feeling like you needed to go in a new direction, but you just didn't quite know what that was. But now you have the strength and the clarity I'm hearing to see exactly what it is or at least to get an idea or enough of a substantial view of this new direction for you to be like, yes, I'm going in this direction and nothing's going to hold me back any longer. There's also a level of relief for you here, Leo, in finally having that sense of a new direction because like I said, it feels like for many of you, quite frankly, I'll say many of us, um, have been struggling with that for a long time, struggling with trying to find this new direction or this new energy, or at least understanding what is next for 
you for Leo, okay? Beautiful, Leo. Let's get into the rest of your spread here, your freestyle spread using the Tarot. I'm going to give this five shuffles. One, for my Leos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node, what messages do we have for Leo at this time? Please, Spirit, this is two. What clarity can we bring to Leo at this time? Please, Spirit. What This is three. What understanding do we have for Leo? What guidance do we have for Leo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node at this time. Four. And five. All right, Leo. We're going to cut the deck here. Boop. All right. Overall energy for you, Leo. We're starting you off. Whoa. We are starting you off with the tower. I mean, we are not fucking around, are we, Leo? <laughs> no, we sure as shit are not. Because underneath the tower is the chariot. Wow, Leo. Underneath the chariot is the Ten of Swords. And underneath the Ten of Swords is the Queen of Swords. I mean, talk about laser-pointed focus, okay? You really have come out, you've come through some really tough shit. Uh, what I'm hearing for you, Leo, the dark days are behind you. Fully, 100% behind you. Now, you it, it may not necessarily seem like that right now for some of us, for some of you, because you're still, you're just now like emerging. Like what I'm seeing for some of, what I'm seeing here is literally like dust and debris and fires. Like there was like, almost like there was a big earthquake or something and a bunch of shit came down. Um, buildings, towers, whatnot, whatever. And you're just kind of like, rising up out of that and moving forward it's for some of it, it does feel like you're just now starting to move forward from all the death and destruction and everything that came down from around you what i want to say with that leo is everything that has come down for you because it is whatever has happened for you it, regardless as to how difficult or burdensome or tough it may have been how painful it may have been it all was in service of you OK, getting you the clarity that you needed, getting you the understanding that you needed, putting you in direct alignment with what it is that you need to do, want to do, however it, what it is you want to move forward. It is exactly that process that has put you in this chariot energy to get into greater alignment with yourself is what I'm hearing so that you have that understanding of that direction to move in. For some of you here, this energy, uh, whatever came down with the tower needed to come down because it put you in direct alignment with or greater alignment with your soul, the truth of who you are, what it is you really want to be doing in life, why it is you're really here, or at least something that is much greater resonance or has a much greater resonance with you now in your life now. And maybe would have always had a greater resonance with you in life, but you needed to go through some of those painful situations beforehand. You needed to go through some of those false experiences, those false identifications, those false directions for you to really understand what it is you want, how it is you want to go about it, how it is you want to get there, whatever. But it's, but it's all very clear to you now, isn't it, Leo? Maybe not why things, certain things happen the way they happen, but your, your, your path ahead is very clear to you right now, isn't it? Yeah. Excellent, Leo. Oh my God, I love this for you. I love this for us. I keep saying us because I have strong Leo energy, so like, fuck yeah. <laughs> Let's get into this. First, uh, first half, second half of your reading. First half of your reading is going to look at the past up until leading up to the current moment. Second half is going to look at the current moment leading off into the future. Yes? First set of surrounding energies for you, Leo, in the first half of your reading, you've got the hanged man. There is that change in perspective. I'm telling you, Leo, if you've been, any of you that have been experiencing a prolonged sense of um, stagnancy, being held back, not understanding why anything is getting off the ground for you, not understanding why you're you're subject to all these delays or all this fruitlessness or all the destruction or all of the, the turmoil, the backstabbing, the betrayal, any of that. It was all part of the process. Because now it has put you in a greater position of seeing things very, very differently. The strongest thing that I'm getting for you here, Leo, is you have to go all through all of that just so that you could get your sense of pride, ego, maybe even loyalty, strong, I want to say strongly, loyalty out of the way so that you could let go of some of the things that have been really detrimental to you. 
And in some cases, that detriment was just the fact that it wasn't true or authentic to you. You were living up to someone else's standards for some of you here, I'm hearing. So you had to be stuck. You had to be delayed. You had to reach, you had to hit that downfall. You had to, in some cases, you had to reach, hit rock bottom to finally get you to say, all right, you know what? Fuck this. I'm letting this go now. I want nothing to do with it any longer. Great. That's exactly what we needed, said the universe. <laughs> Because now you can build on yourself. Excellent. Now you can do something that's more, in, more, you're more enthusiastic about or something that's more authentic to you. Great. That's all we wanted. <laughs> Your sense of pride and ego was in fact getting in the way, Leo. But it wasn't, pr uh, for the most part, it was a sense of loyalty to what you had already committed to. That's over. I mean, the Ten of Swords and the Tower, that shit's over. <laughs> <laughs> the hanged man is coupled with, ooh, the empress. Regeneration, rebirth, growth, expansion, new opportunities, new beginnings. Um, you know, you know, Leo, you may not see it this way. And a lot of the pain, a lot of the struggle, a lot of the turmoil you experienced while you were being held and stuck and feeling stagnant was because of your own resistance. Okay. Let that marinate for a hot second. But really, Leo, you were being held in love. The universe, oh my God, the universe is literally saying, we were holding you in this space, Leo, because we knew what you were doing or what you were a part of was not making you happy, was not fulfilling you. We saw it in your eyes every day. I might cry. We, <laughs> we saw it in your eyes every day. We wanted you to release yourself from that. So we held you in this space, although albeit unconditionally loving space, even though you didn't see it that way because you were resisting us, but we were holding you in that space because we love you. And we want you to be happy. We want you to experience the things you truly want to experience. But you had to be held back from what it was you were trying to achieve beforehand because it wasn't right for you. So it might seem ass backwards, but that stuck and stagnant, stuckness and stagnancy, Leo, that was an unconditionally loving universal power move. Because we wanted you to understand that you could do anything. You can have anything you want, Leo. But you first had to release that which was holding you back to begin with. We first, you first had to release what you were holding on to so that you could open up and embrace what was really true for you or what is new for you. Now, for others of you, no, or or, or I, let me say it this way. Another way to look at this was in you being in this hanged man state, Leo, you began to open up to the truth of, you, of your reality, the truth of who you really are, but also the plethora, the abundance of opportunities that were out there for you. The more you were held in this space, the wider and wider and wider and wider and more expansive your view became until you started to recognize and understand all of the different possibilities in front of you that you could take advantage of. Okay? That's beautiful. That's a beautiful space to be in. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Leo, in the first half of your reading here. Oh, well, would you look at that, the devil. Now, I want to say I'm getting some strong ringing in my left ear, so I feel like I'm super channeling for you right now. Excellent. The devil, the chains that bind you. The commitments you made that were holding you back, keeping you from the fruitfulness of nature. Keeping you from experiencing that which you truly desired. The strongest thing that I'm getting with the devil, Leo, is the com are the commitments that you made. The honor that you were holding yourself to. That was not fulfilling you. I think one of the biggest lessons that you learned here, Leo, was to honor yourself fully and truthfully and not give yourself away to others that don't necessarily honor you back. That was the biggest lesson here for some of you. That is the devil that you overcame in this process. Before I go any further, I want you to re recognize how much major arcana you have already. Out of the seven, no, six cards you have from the tarot here, four of them are major arcana. The tower, the chariot, the hanged man, the empress, and the devil. This is a major transformation in your life. 
I just heard spiritual refurbishing. Ooh. The devil is coupled with the eight of wands. Um... Okay, uh, some of uh, the devil, Capricorn energy, and, and, and the devil just came out for Capricorn. I did Capricorn's reading right before yours, and I said the same thing to Capricorn. I've said the same thing to another sign where the devil came out uh, for this month, but um, Capricorn energy. But Capricorn energy is very practical, okay? Yes, it's a cardinal sign, but it's still an earth sign. It's extremely practical. Your sense of practicality was leading you astray, was getting you in the way. Your sense of loyalty your sense of commitment was getting in the way. You had to release yourself from that devil energy. And I said this, I also said this, the devil can only hold on to you if you continue to give the devil that authority and or power. If you literally hand yourself over to the devil, that is the only way the devil can hold you back. But when you release yourself from the devil's grasp, and in this case, Leo, this feels like belief structures. Certain belief structures, certain pride, certain um, allegiances, whatever, that restrict you. When you release yourself from that, you can go anywhere and do anything. Your way is completely open. Because there's nothing to hold you back any longer. There's nothing to stand in your way. Your challenge in the past, in terms of the first half of your reading. The Six of Wands. Your energy, Leo. Pride arrogance in some cases, take that with a grain of salt, um, keeping up appearances, remaining the champion for something that no longer resonates with you, you no longer want to be a, a, a champion for, things that don't honor you. The Six of Wands very much feels like keeping up appearance. Six of Wands is coupled with Bam, the Ace of Swords. Yikes. The realization of what you no longer want to be a part of or what you no longer want to keep up appearance from or of or with. That was hard for you to come to terms with, Leo. I understand. It was very hard for you to admit the truth to yourself there. What is keeping you from victory? What is holding you back, Leo? The strongest thing that I'm getting with this challenge for the past, Leo, was what you actually needed to, uh, what you needed to admit to yourself about what it is you were holding on to that you needed to let go of, which towers need, you needed to let fall, what you needed to let fall within the energy of the tower. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Leo. Bam, the queen of wands. Greater alignment, greater understanding of who you are, which then leads, brings you greater satisfaction, which brings you greater victory and a hell of a strong level of confidence. Reclaiming your power, getting your strength back, reclaiming your mojo, reclaiming a, a, a sense of great beauty. Maybe you once felt depleted misunderstood also i'm hearing <clears throat> especially if you felt misunderstood i think what you came the realization that you came to was i don't need anyone to understand me more than i understand myself once you started to get into alignment with understanding yourself your desire for others to understand you or des or resonate with you or vibe with you blah 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 that all fell away and you got to a greater sense of truth in yourself. The Queen of Wands is coupled with, bam, the Ace of Cups, self-love. I just heard reclaiming your sense of dignity after all the pain and strife. That's really beautiful. Now, I will go out on a limb and say, Leo, that you are in this energy right now where you may have some people coming at you trying to give you all the love. I don't really think you're focused on love right now. But you're aware of it. It's there. And it's a good opportunity for you to take up if you want it. 
But ultimately, I, I feel I really feel like this is this is either people coming to you wanting to like make you theirs, wanting to date you, blah blah blah, asking you out. But I also feel like the Ace of Cups with the Queen of Wands here is a is a level of recognition, public recognition. Okay, I like this, Leo. Let's get into the second half of your reading. Second half of your reading is going to look at the current energies moving off into the future. First half, I'm sorry, first set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading, Leo. The moon, okay? Intuition is the first thing that I heard here. Things might be very unclear. I feel like you're navigating by intuition right now. Especially since I'm being taken back to that image that I saw in the beginning of you coming, rising up out of the rubble and, and, and moving forward in a very determined manner. I feel like there may be a level of the dust needing to settle, but you're still moving forward and you're moving forward by intuition. Okay, what you're feeling, what your heart is guiding you towards. For others of you, it just feels like this is just a very new energy to be in, a new cycle for you. There is no real familiarity here. So that's another reason why you're moving forward in intuition. The moon is coupled with temperance. Yeah, see, this is why the moon energy doesn't feel so bad for you because things are still kind of taking shape either you're in a new alchemical form or some of that alchemical form is taking shape i feel like you are very much in a new energy and the world around you is shifting and changing to match your energy and this is another reason why you are needing to move forward with intuition only or at least as your dominant sense of perception, because the physical representation of your life right now does not line up with what it is you're truly feeling yet. But the more you hold this alignment for yourself, the more you move forward in this way, the more the universe reshapes your reality to match it. That's beautiful. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Leo, in the second half of your reading. You've got the fool. Yes, that's right. Yes, ma'am. Brand new start. I mean, you are taking this leap of faith with such confidence, such belief in yourself, such belief in the universe. I feel like you are so excited about this. You are so ready to take this leap. You couldn't be more ready. You couldn't be more excited. You couldn't feel more enthusiastic about it. That is beautiful, Leo. The fool is coupled with the five of cups. Because, why? Because you've been in this five of cups for so long and you're ready to leave it behind you now. You've healed. You are taking a leap of faith out of some sort of really sorrowful state, maybe dealing with a lot of loss. Now, granted, Leo, most of that loss does feel like it's in the realm of pride and ego. Okay. Most of the pain came from, you know, you taking a bit of a, an ego hit. All right. An ego death, okay, but you got through it and you're ready to take this leap of faith. Again, you couldn't be any more excited about it. And that makes perfect sense. I mean, even if you don't necessarily know what it is you're moving forward towards, whatever this new cycle is for you, just the sheer fact that I don't have to feel like that anymore, fuck yeah, let's do it. Mm -hmm. Yup. <laughs> your challenge, Leo, in the second half of your reading, 10 of cups. Ultimate happiness. This is only a challenge, Leo, because this is what you're moving forward towards. But what I feel like here is you have a greater understanding of what that is. So now really your only challenge is to get going, which it already feels like you're doing. The Ten of Cups is coupled with the Eight of Swords. Okay, for some of you, I'm hearing cutting yourself free of disbelief that you can actually have what it is you truly dream of, your emotional uh, wish fulfillment, your ultimate emotional wish fulfillment. 
It's not about getting there. It's about believing you can get there. So there are still some remnants here of you. Some of you feeling like the ultimate wish fulfillment that you want, need, and desire isn't possible, isn't out there, but it absolutely is. You absolutely can achieve that. So in this next cycle, or at least in the immediate energies moving off into the future, your challenge here is unraveling any of the belief systems that keep you from believing your 10 of cups is out there. And not only out there, achievable and or reachable, okay? Your closing message or potential outcome for you, Leo, in the second half of your reading, two of pentacles. Balancing your life. There is a level of the new here that you're needing to rebalance because of. Some of you are very much in between jobs, in between career paths right now, and you're needing to Figure out which is best for you or just for the short amount of time, this time period here, you're just going to need to have to balance them. Okay, as you go through some sort of transitionary phase, I do feel like this is kind of a feeling mostly like a change in career paths for most of you. Okay, for others of you, there are still some elements to, the, to your past circumstance or your life in the past that you still kind of need to be responsible for, but only for a short amount of time. All right, because you are absolutely in some sort of transition away from all of those things. Two of Pentacles is coupled with, yep, I told you, <laughs> the Six of Swords. Yep. So your closing message, potential outcome here, Leo, is for the future, for the current energies off into the future, is just balancing whatever it needs to, be, whatever you need to balance as you go through the, this transitional phase of moving forward, moving away from the rough waters of the past to the calmer waters of the future. Yes. Excellent, Leo. Let's close this out. I'm going to get closing message from you for you from the Crystal Mandala deck. Yes? Excellent. Five shuffles here, Leo. One. Closing messages from my Leos, please, spirit. Two. Three. For my Leo. Sun, moon, rising, and north node. Four and five. All right, Leo. There it is. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> Card number 44 Goddess Bastet and Cat's Eye. Sacred Pleasure. I mean, just the fire symbology enough is enough to say that's Leo's energy, but Bastet. And cat's eye, they're both cat symbols. You're a big old cat. I, I mean, this is all you, Leo. This is all you, boo-boo. All right. 44. We bring you the empowerment of sacred pleasure. It is said that the spirit had to be enticed into the body to give up its complete freedom and willingly take on an experience of limitation that could lead to divine growth. It needed, to, it needed the deal to be sweetened. So music was created, music that could only be felt and expressed through the body. Spirit jumped in like a flash and life was created. There is more life that can be created in you and your world. Although there are undoubtedly struggles as a natural part of opening up to more life, there is divine sweetness too. That is the gift of sacred pleasure. This is the pleasure that gives you joy in your aliveness. It is innocent, sensual, and life-affirming. It is time for you to receive more of this. The oracle says it's time to put a little sugar in your bowl. Wow, Leo. Wow, 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 Leo. I want to read this last paragraph for you. This oracle comes to you with healing guidance. The universal mother knows you have suffered and wants to sweeten your deal. If you allow her, she will assist you in purging the life or the self-loathing that has placed you in a painful bind of fear-based control. She will help you love yourself so you can experience the sacred pleasure your life is meant to bring to you. If you have already done this work on yourself and find that bringing sacred pleasure to others through your loving consciousness is part of life's mission and soul purpose, the oracle brings you confirmation of this. 
There is value in teaching strength, and there is value in providing a safe way for others to experience the sacredness of pleasure as an act of loving life. There you have it, Leo. Thank you so much for tuning in. Congratulations in all of this. I am so happy for you. And I I really hope, I mean, I really hope you take full advantage of all of this energy, yeah? I'm sending you all so much love. I hope you have a fantastic month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Take care. <laughs> Bye.